I can't believe I've had to work overtime thanks to some brain-dead researchers. Seriously, can't they find someone else to bother for once? I swear, if I get one more thesis shoved down my throat about some irrational and senseless project, I'm going to... <sighs> it's fine. Just a few more days and I'll be back to being an ordinary scribe. I can hold out until then. Hopefully. On the bright side, my current position has become another thorn in Kaveh's side. I can't comprehend how he can be so certain that he'd be a better choice for acting Grand Sage. I may not want the job, but there are plenty more suitable candidates that don't include that foolish architect. Speaking of, perhaps I'll purchase some new furniture tomorrow on my way home. Kabe can put it together on his own. It's not like he'll have anything better to do anyways. Hmm. Wait, why is that light on? Ugh. <sighs> It's probably another scholar who failed to pay attention to the library hours. Guess I'll have to wake them up myself. Hey, this isn't some lounge where you can waste all your research funds on... T huh? What are you still doing here? Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I thought she would have left by now. Do you know how long you've been asleep for? <sighs> well, based on the red marks on your face from the pressure of the desk and the small puddle of drool, I'd assume at least a few hours. I'm surprised no one came to wake you up or anything. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. It happens to the best of us. Did you not get enough sleep last night or something? Huh? What do you mean you didn't sleep? When was the last time you slept? Besides just now, anyways. Ah, <sighs> you can't... You can't just forgo rest and expect to be able to get everything done. I understand that. Look, I know how hard it must be with all of this pressure placed on your shoulders, but you have to think about the impact this will have on your health. It's not good for anyone to go that long without sleep. Our bodies need time to rest and recover, and sleep is the best way to do that. Darling, no amount of work is worth putting your health at risk. I don't care about the deadlines or the funding or all of the paperwork you have to get done. If you don't take care of yourself, you're only going to end up hurting your body in the process. I'm not saying this to reprimand you, or chastise you in any way. I'm just... I'm just worried about you, that's all. <laughs> don't tell Kaveh I said that, though. He'd have a field day about it, like the drama queen he is. Anyway, how much work do you have left to get done? Okay, and when is the deadline again? Right. Tell you what, starting tomorrow, I'll come by and help you out as much as I can. And we'll get as much work done as possible before closing time. But you have to promise me that once closing time hits, you go right home to get some rest. That way, you don't have to worry about the deadline and we'll still be able to get the proper amount of rest you need to function like a normal human being. You're right. I normally don't like extra work. I heavily dislike it, in fact, and that's putting it lightly. Very lightly. However, if doing so would be of assistance to you, then I don't mind it too much, even if it takes more than a day to finish. Think of it as a favor. A favor you'll have to return someday. <laughs> it's cute that you think you have a choice in the matter. Sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart. 
I'll come by in the afternoon after I get my own work done. If people need me for something, they can suck it up and do it themselves. Hmm. All right, let's go. Come on, get up. We don't have all night, and I've worked enough overtime for one day. I'll even pull your chair out like the gentleman I am. Don't grumble at me now. I'm doing this for your own good. Here's your folder with your paperwork and your materials. Oh, and don't forget your notes. All right, then. You've got all your things? Good. Now... There you go. <laughs> What's with the flushed face? You've never been carried by someone before? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not going to have you walk home. I can see you struggling to keep your eyes open even now. I know you just end up falling over on the way there. Ah, 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 ah. No arguing with me, darling. No way I'm going to let you walk all that way. And there's nothing you can do or say to change my mind. You'll just have to accept it. <laughs> Look at you with your little pout. It's so adorable. Kind of makes me want to kiss you now. <sighs> just close your eyes for now, all right? Get some rest while you can. I'll make sure to wake you up when we get there, but it'll be a bit of a walk. Unless you'd like to stay at my place for the night. Of course it's fine. You're my partner. Besides, my place is a lot closer to here than yours, so it shouldn't take too long. Kave likes having you around, too. Maybe with you there, he'll stop nagging me about the pile of books I left on the coffee table yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll take care of them when we get home. But I'm serious. For the moment, try to get some sleep. Don't worry. I'll be here when you wake up. Hmm? Oh, you're still here? I'd almost forgotten that I had one more thing to say. And here I was about to open up a book for some light reading. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when a video gets uploaded. To access exclusive audios, head over to patreon.com forward slash anagomi. Or if you want an audio custom made for yourself, check out anagomi.com forward slash commissions. Now, if you wouldn't mind passing me that stack of books over there.